of Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lemke here with another flip through and this one is on Doctor Who's Adventure in Time and Space, The Time Traveler's Companion. Uh, this is a 240 page book. It's uh, the second book I have ever had for Doctor Who and it's, uh, well, it's still a learning experience for me. This book is pretty much about, well you guessed it, all things timey-wimey, time travel, um, there is a history of Galfrey in the book. The art is pretty much, after seeing the last book, it's exactly what you would expect. It, The art is a little bit lighter in this book. There's a lot more uh, um, um, text, uh, a lot more background material. Uh, some of the new things that are in this book, uh, mostly they're in the traits section, as best I can tell. Uh, I'm still very green. Uh, I'm, I'm very green when it comes to Doctor Who Adventures in Time and Space. Uh, so let's see here. What page is it on? Chapter 5, Rules, Unwritten History, Galfrey. Here, here's your history. It's on the 170-ish. Last of the Time Lords. Uh, it goes, there was a war, a gallery of the Chronicles. And you get about, oh, I don't know. 30-ish 30, 30 pages, I think, if I remember correctly, on the history of the Time Lords. Uh, about 20. Um, uh, but, like I was saying, there. oh yeah, that, that's the other big thing. There is a whole bunch of information on the TARDIS. Uh, at least, I felt it was like a whole bunch of information. Like I said, I'm brand new to this. I mean, Chapter 5 is all about the TARDIS. Uh, one of the, the newer things in this book is uh, traits. The regeneration seems to be what is strikes me, my fancy, as knowing. The other thing to note is that the uh, book is really broken into two halves. You've got the player section and the game master section. Uh, and basically, you, you go through here, and Chapter 1 is an overview of being a Time Lord. Chapter 3 is uh, your rules and your options. It's titled, I Walk in Inter Eternity. And this is where all your different character creation stuff or um, your gear creation stuff is. It has uh, some Time Lord characters in it. It includes the new trait of regeneration, which I had already mentioned in the book. And then in the last half, you've got uh, the chapter on the TARDIS. which includes the creation of a TARDIS, operation, um, and then in Chapter 7, you have uh, the Darkness of the Time Lords, which I do believe that is... Which, uh, actually, I, I reading through that section makes me want a lot more. And uh, Chapter 8 explains basically how it's possible to play a Time Lord when Doctor Who may not be the last Time Lord. So it is a uh, very good book uh, for anybody who's a Doctor Who fan and wants to learn more. It's also a good book uh, about the RPG that is, um, I don't know if it's fundamental. Like I said, I don't know if I've played the game long enough to, to say if it's fundamental or not. But there are from my point of view, being a rookie, there is a ton of information in this book. In fact, there's so much information book, I don't want to finish reading it because I'm not even halfway through the new series yet, and there's a lot of spoilers in here. Uh, so, so it's kind of tainting uh, the storyline for me. With that being said, I have finally got to play the Doctor Who role-playing game a couple times, and... Uh, in the next month or so, I hope to play a couple more times and then have an actual written review up. So, thanks for watching. This has been a flip through on the Time Traveler's Companion for Doctor Who Adventures in Time and Space from Cubicle 7. Uh, every Thursday is RPG Day, so stop back soon, please. Check us out. Leave some comments. If you felt there was something pertinent in here that I missed or you have a specific question about this book, ask me and I'll do my best to find the answer. Have a good day.